I'm gonna say greetings, fellow humans. Like you guys aren't right here, okay? Everyone say hi, YouTube. <laughs> Greetings fellow humans, I'm Martian Boo, and today I'm going to showcase a Dragon Priest that I played during the Early Access Theory Crafting event. So this deck does have deliberately at least 10 brand new cards in it. This is a standard deck. It seems really good though. It, it feels like wild when you're playing it. So the idea is we're using Timewinder Zarimi, which once per game, if you've summoned five other dragons, you take an extra turn. So what we're gonna do is we're going to play Timewinder Zarimi with a bunch of playhouse giants and pet the opponent in the face really hard and then they explode. We've got a bunch of cheap dragons to play in standard now. So we have Gift Wrap Whelp. We have Ships Chermungans. We can copy them with like Power Chord Synchronize and Pip the Potent. Clay Matriarch is brand new, so this gets you a bunch of dragons towards Zarimi. Cost six, you get a 3-7 up front, but it adds a 1-1 version of itself to your hand, and on Death Rattle, makes a 4-4 well. So with just one card, you get four dragons for Zarimi. We're gonna draw through our deck with a few things. So Playhouse Giant, for one, you need to draw a lot of cards to make it cost zero, so you can play it in the same turn as Zarimi. But also, you need to draw Zarimi and enough stuff to actually kill the opponent in one turn or two turns kind of crimson clergy is really busted draw your hero power will let you draw with him you can use fam club funnel cake to play a bunch more stuff in the same turn holy nova and hidden gem all let you overdraw a lot with clergy to draw through your deck really fast as well as gaslight gatekeeper shuffles your hand into your deck and draws the same amount of cards which is a huge discount for playhouse giant with this version of the deck i never lost in the theory craft it seems pretty busted i would expect some version of this deck to make a lot of waves in standard. I hope you enjoy the gameplay and thank you so much for watching. All right, here is a gift wrapped well, and here we go. I don't have any dragons in hand. Unlucky. Unlucky. Mm -hmm. There we go. Got a dragon. Now, Welp is such a nuts card, isn't it? I wish this came out like two years ago for uh, Galakron Warrior purposes. <laughs> Silly X would be even more perfect if you gave him a mustache. <laughs> yeah, I guess he would, wouldn't he? I guess he would. Starting the operation. Starting the operation. Look at my dragons go. Look how cute this dragon is. Do you think that either Showdown or Silly will get nerfed? Oh, is that, uh, is that already seeming pretty strong? Um, uh, I don't know that I think it will. I guess I won't be surprised if it does. All right, I'm already not happy with the forge package. Maybe I want to cut the forge stuff for like the clergy stuff. That should just be in here, right? So we'll, we'll consider that after this. <laughs> Standard players will never understand the damage ships Chungus did to us in Wild, yeah. How's the Theory stream feel like? You know, we're out here living our best chumbos. We're out here drinking it all in, if you will. Will you? Will you? Marshy just got cleared. He did. He did just get cleared. I think my opponent's doing the same thing I'm doing, but more efficiently than I am. Mm-hmm. Look at that big old vanilla 8-8. Eight eight. Yep, look at it go. Look at it do it. Look at it get there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do this <laughs> And we'll just be happy with that Prepackage time. Yep. Do you think the 8-8 will be good in questline demon hunter and wild? I mean probably I don't know seems good Seems like a pretty good card to me. I Assume it will be good. I wish I would draw that um I wish I would draw 
the uh, Gaslight Gatekeeper. The end of your turn, summon a six cost minion last three turns. That actually seems pretty good for my stratagems. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wait, can I just like I could probably just win right now, right? We just do that, that this I mean I guess this. I don't think it really matters. And then we get a random six thing. And then we take our extra turn and we play Alexstraza. <laughs> Look at that! Look at us go! Look at us get there! Alright, I need to adjust this to be a little bit more draw intensive, but that's the idea. <laughs> Alright, there's clergy. Clergy seems good. Scale replica seems okay. Disaster, that's what you were hyped for? I have another, like, plan, I guess. I don't know that it's a plan. I have another, um... I have a, I have a list to attempt. <laughs> But it's not like actual Reno. Look at that. Look at that primordial glyph. Look at it go. What a weird pre-skin. I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful, chat. Alright. Abomination. Abomination! Next turn, we draw some cards. Do this, this, and draw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's draw some cards. <laughs> Silly clergy, what a crazy card. <laughs> clergy play and attack sound are 10 out of 10. It's pretty good. Remember when this was a completely different card? Remember when this card was like entirely different? Like not even the same? <laughs> Aw, goodbye clergy. Abomination. This way I won't overheal too much. It's so weird that clergy existed before, yeah. It was like plus one attack whenever And how did it even work? I forget. Alright, what are those secrets? Why? Oh, those aren't the secrets. <laughs> That is outdated. Okay. Well. Starting the operation. How dare you? How dare you do that to me? I'm gonna play this. Do I wanna play this? I guess so. Give it and this? I just thought this got plus one plus one. It also gives the one in your hand bonus? That's crazy. That's as crazy as it is. Those all just cost minus three, right? If your deck has no minions, they cost three less. Mm. Those are your cards? Yeah, it's the uh, theory crafting stream. Uh, okay, I make this trade, I make this matriarch, and there we go. It's already nuts at uh, one mana, three, two, and also hand buffs, yeah. Rude. That hurt my feelings. Oh my. I need to find a new king. Oh, that needs to be healed up first. Mm. Well, this is gonna be embarrassing because I should have played it first, but you know, it's better than it's better than stuff.
Refreshing spring, refreshing is spring water. Yeah, I guess that is what it is. <laughs> Skull of spring water. Uh, well, we win if we get our friend Scrumbus. We did not get Scrumbus yet. We still could. Well, yeah, we will this time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alex is kind of funny with this. Didn't even need Alex, though. We just kind of got there. Just kind of got there, chat. Is an extra turn really good? Do you guys think that taking an extra turn um, with minimal downside is good? What are your thoughts, chat? Do I just like hard mull for clergy? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I bet I keep Gaslight Gatekeeper with this type of deck, don't I? Also, I'm supposed to be running Pip, huh? I think I'm supposed to be running Pip. Look at all these ones. Look how beautiful they are. What do I cut for Pip? Chat, what do I cut for Pip? Mm. Time Winder? <laughs> Wait, they can use Caverns of Time for Corset? No, it's it. They, uh... Oh, they can use it for Corset? Yeah, they can use whatever they want for Corset. Maybe trim a girl boss? I think girl boss is a super two. I think it gets a straight up two of. I think you really want that. That's my opinion. Based on Chungus. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's how that works, huh? Do all friendly characters, so it heals itself too, right? Go forth, gatekeeper! Wee. Mm-hmm. Hmm, I think I'll do this. And pass. I think as long as we're winning games, we shouldn't change anything. Hmm. Is this, is there another reason you're running Girl Boss apart from Playhouse and just playing it like Spinly? Uh, only the first reason. It's there to combo with Playhouse. I guess it flexes to be a spinly-ish type card. That's about it. <gasps> Starting, the Starting the operation. I guess I should have put that out. Um, yeah, I'm not going to. Do I want to... Yeah, I guess I will, right? We'll just put that out, and then that'll heal them both. And we'll draw some cards. And it'll be great. It'll be great, chat. Hashtag, what does Giant even do? Playhouse Giant costs one less for each card you've drawn this game. I'm about to take damage? Oh, not really. Martian, are you going to do wild friendlies with any streamers later in the event? Um, Can we... Um... Can we do friendly battles, or is that disabled? Um... Is someone there? There's someone there. Two dragons left. Look at that, look at that, look at those giants. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to attack with that. Patch you up. Abomination! You can, I think. All right, Corbin Meowth did when Automaton takeover. Mm. They did friendlies, or they just queued on wild, and they were the only two people queuing. Clergy is 100% balanced. I think so. That's true, actually. What if Rogue just never clears you? Friendlies. All right, sick. I have no specific plans with anyone, but I'd be interested. Mm 
Oh my. Well, ain't that something? <laughs> So I do this. This heal. Okay. So it'll do. I need to find a new king. Cool. I don't know. Maybe I didn't need to Nova there, huh? Or did I? I didn't have to Nova uh, if I played this, which I think I liked better. So next turn, gotta play this. Always giant. Uh, the giant goes down the same turn the time winder goes down. I forgot that this isn't druid, so summoning five dragons is actually a somewhat inconvenient condition. It happened very naturally last time. Um. Hmm. Well, there's that. So next turn, I can go this and this is six. I can't finale the, this, but it doesn't matter, right? Like, who cares? I, I do have to play this, right? Unless this dies. It's just Quest Mage Priest? It is. It is just Quest Mage Priest. Mm-hmm. Matriarch gets us there. It gets us there if they kill it. Look at that. That hurt my feelings. Oh, hey, Alex. All right, so I do that. I do that. I do that. I do this. I do that. And then we win. <laughs> you know, Alex is a little bit overkill. Is this, this deck is a little broken, right? Like, I don't know that I don't know that my list specifically is really good, but <laughs> the uh, I, I don't know. Like, isn't that cracked? I feel like that's just really good. I, I feel like Standard's gonna hate this. <laughs> Gatekeeper is also an absurd enabler. Yeah, it feels mo like more clergy than uh, Gatekeeper, but uh, definitely, I would say. Definitely, definitely. I think this is a keep of all time. Maybe I'll toss that back. Do you think we're running those giants in Questline Demon Hunter? Probably, probably. Greetings. <laughs> How are you doing? Starting the operation. Legends stuff. The stuff of legends. <laughs> Why must you break Hearthstone? It's not even day one. True. What am I doing? They should add an Antidiotist to Priest that gives you Mind Blast so they have to nerf Radiant to four. Ah. Are these casual games? Because if not, I think you're going to hit rank one Legend at this rate. All right. Yep. I'm on the case. No, I am. At, I'm at Bronze 7. All right. Um. Be gone! Abomination! Abomination. Mm -hmm. Where's Pip? It should probably be in here, either that or it shouldn't. Uh, it seems really good, right? Like copying Funnel Cake and Fan Club and Clergy. I, I feel like it just should be in here, huh? Should be in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Be gone! Abomination! Did I play Raza Priest yet? I tried an actual Highlander Priest and it was aggressively bad. <laughs> Alright. Mm, it is turn something. I'm going to play this joint. That's my opinion. 
Should I play both giants or should I hold on to them? Because we win as soon as we like. Like they might stick and they might pressure him down. But A, that's not very funny, is it? But also like they for sure win the game if I just chill with them for a second. That hurt my feelings. That hurt my feelings, chat. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to repackage next turn, so I'm just gonna chill. Or time warp. I know, right? Do we play enough dragons yet? I don't think so. Not even, not even close, right? We've played like just those two. We need to play some matriarchs. Mm -hmm. Infinite value. Wait. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Guess there's no reason to give them a ship's chungus. <laughs> Hmm. What we cut for Drifter or Pip? I don't know about Drifter. Oh, uh, Drifter would be zero, huh? Well, I could cut Synchronize. I feel like Synchronize is a little, especially if we add um Pip, it's a little clunky. Um. Can't wait for new priest decks. <laughs> Bot face. Um, I need to find a new king. Okay, thank goodness it's friendlies. Wow. Mm -hmm. Synchronize is best with giants, I guess. Yeah, but also, like, I don't think, uh, I don't think it needs it. <laughs> See, I think that's a cut. Uh, what should I put in for a second drifter, if I'm going to put in drifter? Um... <gasps> Alright, there it is. Let's give you some extra time. Okay. So... I was just gonna ton of damage. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe the synchronizes are good. It's just hard to fit everything in. There's a lot of stuff that's good. Alex is also kind of neutering your scale replica draws. Yeah, she might just not be necessary, huh? I could just cut her. All right, we'll try just cutting Alex. Putting Pip. Synchro it up. Lazul versus and Hilda. Where will fate take us? Where will it take us, chat? Where are we headed? All right, now leave it alone. You leave my poor clergy alone. He just needs to sit there and draw me infinite cards. Infinite cards, chat. Uh-oh. Is it forging time? Mm. Be gone! Abomination! Yep. Why did I attack with that, by the way? <laughs> I guess it was worth it, right? Because it was going to die, but I think I just kind of habitually like was just dragging things that could attack towards the enemy face. Uh, play this, and then I'll gaslight gatekeep. <laughs> Actually, I probably should have ships Chungus, right? 
because uh, the buff from this was going back in. I think that might have been the superior choice. Hey, Zareem. Zer some is... Um, do I play this chat? I don't think so. I don't think so. The real priest potential to me isn't in this though. It's in Raza, Papercraft, Angel, and Overheal priest to get a million Hedonis procs. <laughs> That's funny. You know what else is funny? Mm. Ah! Scary. Love how this gameplay is actively convincing me not to make Shadow Dragon Priest next set. Not because it doesn't look fun, but because the legendary hasn't been active once. This legendary? I've killed every opponent that I've played in the last four games with it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. <gasps> okay, there's that. Do I do this first and then do that? We're like almost there, right? <laughs> I don't think Overheal Raza has enough new cards for the Theorycraft. What? Okay, so what is this Overheal Raza business? Are you like healing something a bunch of times with Hedonis, I see. I see. Do you have this in a bigger time? Well, then you wouldn't need Reno. Hmm. That's funny. Kind of hot idea. Yeah, that is kind of hot. Kind of hot. All right, we win. We want chat. <laughs> Beep boop. <laughs> uh. Renee and I have been watching my parents' dog Barkley this weekend, and it's been very fun. Barkley is a very friendly dog. He likes to play fetch. In fact, sometimes that seems like it's the only thing he likes to do. <laughs> but yeah, we've really been enjoying having him over. This is not the first time we've watched Barkley. Those of you who have been following the channel for a while know that already. This time, we have four leash options. I was thinking about the dog that we had when I was a kid, and I'm pretty sure in all the years that we had him, he had only a single leash. It was like a blue strap. But Barkley has several leashes for every occasion. There's a kind of short leash that is almost just like a lasso that I feel is good for just taking out for our, a quick potty break. There's a very similar regular leash that actually clips onto his collar, which maybe is for longer walks with a purpose. There's a retractable leash that is much thinner, but it's also much longer. And the nice thing about that one is you have to manage it less if you're going to let Barkley run around doing whatever he wants for a bit. He has more reach and you don't have to worry about the leash getting tangled around because it goes back into the device as he gets closer. The problem with that one is you have less direct control because you can't just put both hands onto the leash like you can another one because the leash itself is so thin. And then finally there's one that Renee was using today that goes around like a belt. So you put the harness on yourself around the hips and then the leash attaches to both you and to Barkley's collar. The leash itself is kind of like a light bungee so it has a lot of give so you can just kind of stand there and let him do whatever he wants but it's a light bungee so if you need to like rein him in you you can still tug on it but yeah i never really thought about having like different leashes for different purposes and it's kind of cool 